Hello advanced traders, this is lesson number 4 of the Options are Easy course. And in this video I will tell you what options volatility curves are and what is their essence and purpose. From the last lesson you now know what volatility is and why this parameter is important for option valuation. And today let's talk about where option volatility curves come from. We open a volatility chart on Bitcoin for example. Let's choose a random series. I will now turn off the data we don't need and tell you what it's displayed here. At the bottom we see the option strikes and these dots are correspond to option strikes. Here they go 24, 25, 26 thousands and so on. These are options on the Bitcoin futures. Also at the bottom of the chart is the volume of open interest, because the open interest button is active. Let me remind you, the volume of open interest is the amount that is bought plus the amount that is sold with this option. Green is the call options and red is the put options. So you can see here the volume of open interest too, how it changes and so on. And if we click on this button, we can see the daily trading volume for this option. Look at the volatility curve itself. It is built upon Ivy, which the exchange shows with its volatility curve. And these are the dots upon which the volatility curve is constructed. So each call and put option has the same volatility. The scale on the left is a markup of the option's volatility values. The green ones are the recalculated volatilities in Ivy according to the Black and Scholes model. In this case, this is the bid of the strike 32 call option. And this is the ask of the call strike option 32. The green ones are the bid and ask of the call option and the red ones are the put option. Everything is very simple, clear and convenient. You can click on the bid or ask value at any time. Let's say the ask 28 of the put option. Look, I clicked and this bar opened up. And here's the value. 1899. This ask just converted to an IV value, which in this case was 44.4% volatility. This is how the quotes are displayed on this chart. It is easy to navigate and quick to make a deal. The price is displayed immediately. All you have to do is set the quantity. If you think that these options, call 31, are cheap and you want to buy them, just click bar opens and you already have the 431 strike price right where you want it. All you have to do is specify the amount and click buy. Why do we see such a smile of volatility? Why isn't it just a horizontal straight line with the same IV level with each strike? The thing about Black and Scholes model is that it uses normal distribution, but the normal distribution simply doesn't exist. As the price changes, we observe the rise of these edges along the strikes. Put options tend to be more expensive, but it depends on certain assets. If you look at the stationary state of the market, there is no unprecedented rise or incredible fall, extreme volatility that is, then as a rule put options on IV will be higher. This means that put options come out more expensive than call options, if they are equidistant because their time value will be higher according to the Black and Scholes model. Now the interesting thing is that the shape of volatility curve can change. If some strong growth is expected there will be a change in volatility. Then this right edge will rise. This means that there will be a higher probability that the option will be in the money. So those options will be quoted at a higher price. But if, on the contrary, a strong decline is expected, then you and I will see that put buyers will push, put their bids higher, make trades at higher prices. And this will push up the market makers and the volatility curve will go up and we'll see even more expensive puts. Because everyone will want to buy them for hedging or speculation, even if a higher prices. In delta values you can look at delta options, but I will probably talk about them in the next lesson. Here you can convert all curve values into deltas for an individual option. You can also set your own volatility curves. What can this be used for? For example, to quote options. You want to sell options that are too expensive. You expect volatility not to rise. Use delta hedging and make money on it. 
Okay, in this case, you can build your curve over several strikes. So you don't have to change everything on the fly in manual mode and sell options at a profitable IV. Let's call it MMIV and build it a little higher than the current one. Let's set the value higher, like 45. There, it has already appeared. Now let's set the slope of the curve. Tilt minus 4. We should also set the steepness. Let it be like this with the value of 3, maybe less. As a result, we have the level is 45, tilt minus 4, and steepness of 3. We can also estimate the confidence range of price changes. Here we select how many sigmas will be shown in the range. You probably know that one sigma to the left, one sigma to the right is a confidence range of about 67% probability. Two sigmas is 95%. 3 sigmas is 99%. And so we have a confidence range displayed, which means that the price will stay in that range until the expiration with a 67% probability. And thus we got a range of 23.5 and 31.5. This is our confidence range. Now we can see the density of the probability distribution. The normal and the log normal distribution all can be estimated and seen for yourself. 05 stands in the middle on the price for the basic asset. And you can see here what the price will be at different probabilities. All this you can check on your own. All of this is available in the terminal AE absolutely for free. If we saved such curve, we can use it directly for quoting. There are robots orders on volatility in the AE terminal. And you can set the volatility used and that's it. The robots will take the value of volatility from that curve and place orders based on it. They will try to sell it at a higher price or vice versa. You can use two curves, nothing stops you. You can give them any name you want. Let's say you have built a new curve, like 44. Now give me a couple of seconds. Done. And based on this curve, you can buy options. And that's how you set up this type of market making. You sell with this curve and buy with this curve with robots. Let's say you sell options and you think that the lower volatility is realized. You sell them and run a delta hedger. In the delta hedger, you set your curve of some kind. And you expect the volatility in the center to be no higher than 40. Let's set such a curve. You save it, it is saved on the server, and these values are used to calculate the current delta position of your options. Thus, this delta will be hedged. In short, you will hedge on lower volatility, and you will take your profit if volatility, the value of which is not higher, is realized. Your profit will be the amount from the sale minus the hedge fee. Likewise, you can take any curve. Look in the options board. And in the options board, we can change the volatility. There is usually default volatility. Everything is calculated in theoretical prices and in Greeks. I think I should definitely talk about Greeks someday. Probably one lesson to each of the Greeks. I will explain in details what are the Greeks and how to work with them. Here we can choose a volatility curve. And then we get a recalculation of the theoretical prices and Greeks on the curve that we set. And if we further change our curve, all the values will change. They will no longer be default prices, but according to our curve. This is very convenient. Suppose we decide to sell some strangle. Suppose the strangle is 30,000. 30,000 calls, 25,000 puts. We open a chart. This is a chart of our strangle. Note that right now we are using our curve, but if we change it back to the default one, the default data will be used. Or again, we can use our curve for calculations. Look, there's practically no PNL here, because we evaluated our strategy using our curve. We can try to change the curve. What will happen if volatility goes up, for example, or the volatility will fall like this. Let's save it. 
And as we can see, the picture has immediately changed. There are some kind of profits appeared on the falling volatility, and our strangle immediately gave $540 in profits. So you can simulate different scenarios and see what happens to your option strategy when the volatility curve changes. Now let's try to simulate a strong rise in volatility. This is how I raise it, and below you can see what the financial result is. And now we immediately see a loss. This is a Vega negative strategy. Volatility rose and we can see a loss of $171. You can do all the additional calculations in the options board. And this is where the IV is displayed, the strike values and so on. You can change a lot of different parameters in the board. And I'll show you more of that later. Roughly speaking, this is a full-fledged option calculator, when you can evaluate and look at everything. And that's all I wanted to tell you about volatility curves. You can not only study and watch, but you can also create your own curves. This concludes my lesson. Go to the AE terminal, model there and fix what you have learned in your mind. If you liked this video, press that like button. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. I try to answer all questions. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel about stock options trading, be sure to subscribe. There will be many videos to come. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.